So into our recent videos, we have seen how we can create your virtual networks using different interfaces. Now here we are going to talk about your compute services into your Azure. So as we know, we have different kind of services provided by your Azure, which are compute services, your business analytics, your mobile services, your websites, there are many more. Here we are going to talk about your compute services where we are going to create your virtual machines. So here, while you're creating or while you're configuring your compute services, very first thing you should know that whenever you're going to create your infrastructure, everything will be virtual. So you'll be creating infrastructure using your virtual machines, which you are going to create and configure into your Azure. Next is scale infrastructure. We're also going to see how we can automatically scale your infrastructure as per the load which is coming in on your servers. So as we have already discussed into our previous videos, like sometimes it might happen into your peak time, you require more servers and you don't have to wait to manually scale your servers over here. You can automatically scale your server that again we are going to see over here into your compute services so that we can automate your scaling options. Next, we have the container services. We can also see how we can provide the container services onto your Azure. So your Azure provides multiple service. Under your compute services, again, you can deploy multiple service to your infrastructure. Again, if I talk about your configuring your compute services, as we know, we can create your virtual machines. We can provide the access to your virtual machines over your websites, over your different portal if you have. Also, we can provide the cloud services for the, from this particular virtual machines. As we know, we can create an application. We can share our, some of your applications or the websites we have created on these virtual machines and we can deploy it to your end users. And also, as we have seen into your VNet, again, we can configure your virtual machine using three different interfaces by using your portal, CLI, and PowerShell. So this is about your compute services. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can create your virtual machines using your Azure portal.